اهلا بكم انا كارول Welcome to ArabicPod101.com's Abjadiyah Made Easy The fastest, easiest and most fun way to learn the Arabic alphabet The Abjadiyah In the first two lessons we covered the five letters Alif, Nun, Ba, Ta and Fa in the Arabic alphabet Now we are going to take a look at some Arabic letters that are slightly more difficult to pronounce I'll try to explain them in a simple way Ready to go? Let's get started In this lesson, we learn how to read and write three letters that look alike. Writing them should be easy, but pronouncing them is the most challenging part. Our first letter is Jim. This one is easy to pronounce. It's somewhere between a G and a J, depending on the accent. For example, Standard Arabic, Syrian, or Egyptian. In Standard Arabic and Syrian Arabic, it should sound like the J in the word jam, while in Egyptian Arabic, it sounds like the G in the word game. They're both quite easy to pronounce, though. Now let's handwrite the isolated form. Jim. Here are the initial, medial, and final versions of Jim. Now we'll write them. Jim. The second letter we learn in this lesson is Ha. As you can see, it looks like the Jim, but without the dot in the hook. But of course, it doesn't sound like it. Ha is the first letter of the second group, meaning that it has no counterpart in English. It sounds like the sound you make when trying to cool your mouth and throat after eating something very spicy. The closest English counterpart to the sound is H. The only difference is that it comes from a point deeper down in your throat. Just like this. <coughs> Try it yourself. Here is how to write the isolated version. Ha. Here are the initial, medial, and final versions of ha. Now we'll write them. Ha. The last letter we learn here is the Kha. This letter, like the Ha, has no English counterpart. Kha is a sound some people make when they laugh. It's also similar to the sound people make when they snore. According to phonetic charts, Ha is pronounced in a deeper part of the throat than Kha. Listen and repeat. Kha. Kha. Both Kha and Ha have no English counterparts. They're a bit tricky to pronounce, so let's practice these two letters in some words. First, a word which has kha is khad. Khad means cheek in English. And one that has ha is had. Had means limit. Can you hear the difference between khad and had? It might take some time before you can hear the differences clearly, so don't worry about it too much. Here's how to write the isolated version. Kha. Like its two friends, it has three other forms. Initial, medial, and final. Now we'll write them. Kha.
Let's learn a word using some of these letters. Taj. Repeat after me. Taj. Taj means crown. That's ta in the initial form, alif in the final form, and jim in the isolated form, disconnected from the alif before it, because as we learned in the first lesson, the alif connects differently. Now let's try writing it. Taj. First, write the ta. The boat connected to the alif, the two dots, then the jim in the isolated form. Nice work. Now it's time for Carol's tips. You may feel that Arabic cursive is difficult and has a lot of rules. It might feel foreign at first, but you'll get used to it if you start reading written Arabic frequently. Practice writing some words from the letters we've learned so far. Try the following. Najaha, meaning to succeed. Jan, meaning side. Hajj, meaning pilgrimage. Good job! Well, that's all for this lesson. We'll continue next time with a few more letters that look alike. Don't worry, next lesson's letters are very easy to pronounce. I'll see you in the next Abjadia Made Easy lesson. Salam!